you have a cause of death yet on the conductor? I believe this man was poisoned. I've got a pretty good track record if you'd like to get started on your investigation. On ABC's Forever, Dr. Henry Morgan makes it look easy well, identifying the dead and figuring out exactly how they died. But step into reality. These remains, real bones and tissue, remain unidentified at the Riverside County Sheriff's Department coroner's office. So we're still working on her. Um, it's a fairly young uh, woman of mixed race. Uh, who was wearing uh, slack. She wasn't dressed appropriately for the hike. Forensic anthropologist Deb Gray suspects natural causes in this death. A woman found on a mountaintop in August near Lake Paris. She couldn't find any trauma. And while it won't solve this case, one of the 13,000 death investigations the department conducts every year, this Lodox high-speed x-ray machine can certainly help. Pull the handle and you'll see it. It'll take a couple of seconds. The Sheriff's Department just purchased this $482,000 digital full-body x-ray scanner for the coroner's Paris office this summer. It creates a six-foot high-resolution picture in just 13 seconds while eliminating the need to move bodies to get complete x-ray pictures. That saves both time and money. Light speed ahead. Uh, not only that, the ease of use is, is great and the quality of the images are fantastic. It's one of the first things that happens when a body comes through the doors here at the coroner's office. First thing, they weigh them, photograph them, and fingerprint them. Now, just about every body comes right into this Lodox machine for a complete scan. In the past, they couldn't do it. It simply took too much time. Um, as you can see, it only took a couple of seconds once it actually initiated and started. The Lodox scans can pinpoint the exact location of a bullet, helping determine the cause, manner, and mode of death while often finding things no one knew they'd even find. Things like artificial implants with traceable serial numbers, which makes identifying a body easier. So in a very complicated case with multiple gunshot wounds, sometimes if we don't find the bullets when we're doing the autopsy, we'll send the body back to x-ray. A few seconds later, body's back. Riverside County is just one of less than a handful of agencies nationwide using this Lodox. Another plus, its scans produce 10 times less harmful radiation, a real positive for employees like technician Ivy Zandoval. Coincidentally, the county's chief forensic pathologist, Dr. Jennifer Park, she's a huge fan of Dr. Henry Morgan and forever for its realism despite the obvious fantasy. Uh, well, for one, I know I don't live forever. <laughs> Park says unlike similar crime shows, Forever creates great drama that's embedded into the storyline. And she says it's believable. As for the new Lodox scanner, Park says it helps her every day. The reason why we do our job is to provide answers for the families. So I believe this is an excellent investment if we could do our job more efficiently to get you know, more accurate answers into them faster. I think it's, um, it's great. And like the show, this Lodox machine will likely help solve many, many more mysteries and crimes during its long run. In Paris, Jeff Stahl, News Channel 3.